it is time to get in the kitchen and try something new. And today we are gonna try cauliflower tots. I love tater tots and they are delicious. And I have tried a prepackaged tater tot that is made from cauliflower rice. And it's good, but I thought, why not try my own? So we're gonna try our own today. Let's see what happens. So for cauliflower tots, we don't need a lot. We need cauliflower, garlic, salt, and flour. So to start this off, I actually have water that I'm going to start boiling. And we're going to actually prepare the cauliflower. We want to steam and boil, steam or boil the cauliflower. And then we're going to cook it basically like we would a mashed potato. We're going to just make sure we process it down to like a mashed potato consistency. So let's get this cooking so I can get it to the right consistency. Now you can see I have my cauliflower cut. Now the recipe does call for two heads of cauliflower, but there's only two of us, so I am going to go ahead and cut that in half and just use one head. So my cauliflower is mashed. While I was mashing it, I was actually thinking that possibly it would be able to be used one of those little prepackaged things of um, rice cauliflower, save you having to cook your own. But you know what? I like fresh. So let's go ahead and do it. So for this recipe, we are going to need a quarter cup of flour. I'm going to need about a clove of garlic. Yes, I just used minced garlic in water because it is so much easier. And we like a lot of garlic, so I just went ahead and put a fair amount in. A half teaspoon, and then it's gonna call for a half teaspoon of salt. Now, obviously, if you are gonna use two heads of cauliflower, you just double up the flour and double everything up. And then I'm going to go ahead and mix this. And then we are going to mix this so that the garlic is well put through. And then I'm going to work and we're gonna put it into balls. And then we are going, I'm going to place mine on a baking sheet. Now the recipe actually does call for these to be deep fried but I'm not gonna deep fry it. I don't want all that fried stuff. I wanna go ahead and bake mine so that they're a little bit healthier. Um, we've actually talked about getting a fry daddy because we think we would love it for something like this. But that said, I also know that something like this that I can actually bake and it's relatively similar, I know I would do it and we would default to that and we don't want that. So we have resisted getting a fry daddy. I do have an air fryer. I do have an air fryer. But the recipe did not mention air fryer, so I'm not going to attempt to do this with an air fryer. If you try this recipe and decide to try it at home in your air fryer, let me know how it works. Now, I'm finding these very hard to shape into balls. Now, I did not mash mine as small as I probably could have, and that could be part of my problem. I could have maybe had to mash them a little bit, a little bit smaller, but that's okay. And then since I am baking mine, we're gonna put ours in an oven, a 350 degree oven for 40 to 45 minutes and then we'll pull them out and show it to you. And you would actually eat this with whatever you eat your tater tots with. I'll probably use ketchup. And they were okay. Probably not sure I'd make them again, but you know, wasn't that bad. No excuses. So for California, so for Cal, so for Cal, blah, blah, blah. 